the last video with the Miata, I installed the, the racing seat, but I never actually showed at the end me getting in and out of the car. Uh, you could see in the middle when I was test fitting the seat kind of how the process was, but it's 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 fun. It's interesting. The uh, the side bolsters on the bottom of the seat come up so high that when I get in, I kind of have to just fall into it and then swing my legs in the car. Uh, getting out kind of the reverse. Um, and it's it's comfortable once I'm in the car. I do want to adjust the seat a little bit. There is the the mounting points for the bracket on the rear. It's kind of like a lifted little rail over the actual floor pan. Um, you can actually knock that out and then bolt the rear straight to the floor pan with a black, uh, backing plate through the bottom. Uh, I think I might try to do that. I also have uh, padding on the roll bar from when I had the factory seats in there, just in case my head would hit. I might take that out. Uh, just so I can move the seat back a little bit more. Um, but right now I kind of, I feel like I'm sitting a little high in the car and, and it's kind of tight getting to the clearing the steering wheel with your legs. So to start, I'm going to replace the steering wheel. Uh, so I went and got a, uh, a Sparco wheel. It's a 330 millimeter wheel with a flat bottom. Uh, and then I also got some NRG an energy uh, steering wheel or steering hub adapter as well as a quick disconnect um, which the packaging for all these is really nice here's the, the steering wheel box pretty nice box doesn't really need to be anything the uh, the energy boxes are are, are pretty nice actually the, uh, the quick release one's got a little window in it to see but it's a uh, pretty good packaging but let's see here so here is the hub adapter so this is short this is going to bolt straight into the the steering column and then off of this the quick release will mount which is here uh, and then this you, it's got I got the one I think this is 2.5 it's got this flanged uh, release collar and it's even got some little grooves I don't know if you can see there's little grooves here for your fingers to, to kind of fall in so it feels natural I probably can't yep there we go so this This piece here will actually stay mounted on this, and the quick release just pops them in off on, on here. Um, and then this is what the steering wheel mounts to. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that today. And in the process, I'll, I'll show a quick video right now of, of getting in and out of the car just to see, and then at the end, I'll do the same thing. Um, I do eventually want to change the, the seating position a little bit, but it's close and realistically doing this will make it a lot easier to get in and out of the car. Before I go out to the car, I'm actually going to mount the steering wheel to the quick release uh, adapter. Um, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up. On this, there's these mounting holes. This top center one has a little uh, divot or marking right below it, which signifies it's, it's the top center. So I'll line that up with this top center bolt or the top center hole in the steering wheel. I'm gonna go ahead and mount this up. I'm gonna connect the wires for the, the, the horn button. Uh, and then that way when I get out to the car, I'll just need to bolt the, the hub adapter to the, to the steering column and then this back piece of the, the quick release. And then from there, I'll just be able to put the steering wheel on. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and put that on. The hardware to mount the steering wheel comes with the wheel. Uh, it's just button head, Allen drive, uh, hardware. I'm going to use some thread locker to help hold it in place and, and run these in. I had to make a short adapter wire for the horn button. Uh, the horn button itself has two male connectors. The quick release has a female and a male. So the male from the quick release will not plug into the male off the horn button. So using some stuff from a parts store, I made an adapter wire to be able to plug this in. Uh, the horn button then just presses into the middle of the steering wheel 
and then I just apply the sticker on the steering wheel. Okay, so you can see I've got the steering wheel mounted. Uh, it's all lined up with, with the dots on the, the quick release. Uh, I wired in the, the horn button and, and got that plugged in, which uh, pushes. So there it is. And now we'll go out to the car, pull off the old steering wheel, and get this thing on. First, remember to disconnect your battery so you don't have an accidental airbag explosion. That would be bad. On the NB, there's these two nuts on either side of the steering wheel. They're behind these little plastic or rubber covers. Uh, if I remember right, they're 10 mil. They just unscrew and that releases the airbag. Then you just pull the airbag out, release the clips. You can remove the airbag and set that aside. And then loosen the locking center bolt on the steering wheel that's attached to the steering column. Uh, make sure that the steering wheel is lined up straight. Once I have ensured it's straight, I'll go ahead and loosen the, the nut the rest of the way, remove it, and then pull the steering wheel off. On the NB, there's the center clock spring that you can see that needs to be removed. To gain access to this, you remove the three screws on the, the column cover. Then you can pull apart the, the plastic column cover and unscrew the center clock spring. This has three screws holding this on as well. Disconnect the connector on the back side of the clock spring. And if you're using a uh, airbag light delete, uh, this would be where you plug that into. short hub just mounts onto the, the steering column and I run the nut on. Before I actually torque down I had to wire in the horn. Uh, with this you just need some sort of metal that is touching the back of the, the hub and then you run the factory wire or the horn button to that. Here I'm going to torque the, the nut for the steering column. I believe the torque is 29 to 36 foot-pounds. I put this to 34 to be safe. This thing is, is hard to tighten. You may need to use something else to help hold the steering or the, the column in place. Once that's tightened, screw on the, the steering column cover back on. I suggest putting the bottom on first and then clipping the top to it. Next, I si simply plug in the, the wires to continue the, air, uh, the horn connection to the little quick release snout. I'll then bolt this onto the, the hub adapter using some hardware that I purchased from, from the hardware store. It's the same thread pitch as the steering wheel bolts uh, and, and should go in easy. I also use thread locker on these. <laughs> 